Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Dharade. In this video, we are going to discussing about how to configure, how to create the Maven project in Jenkins. Okay, let's see the demo. For that one, we required three requests. Are first, we have to install the Git plugin and also we have to install the Maven plugin. The plugin name is Maven Integration. Then we have to configure this Maven plugin in, inside the global tool configuration. Then we will be create the job and then we will be build the particular job. Okay, for that one, I'm taking one uh, sample uh, Git project that is a web iPhone application project. We can configure this one, this one, and we can build that particular project. Okay, it will be generate a war file. If you see here, web application, it will be generate the war file. Okay, fine. Now, what I'm going to do, uh, go to the Jenkins, go to the manage Jenkins. First, we have to verify whether plugins is installed or not. Inside the manage plugins, we have a install, right? Click this install. Here you can search with it git. If you observe here, git is plugin is installed. Now I'm going to verify with Maven. If you verify Maven, it is not already installed. So now I'm going to check in available and then we can install the plugin. Okay. What is the Maven plugin? Maven plugin is Maven integration plugin. If you see here, Maven integration plugin. Select this one. Here we have two options. One is install without restart, download now and install after restart. If you choose install without restart means it will install the plugin, but it won't be restart the Jenkins. If you choose this download now and install after restart, it means download the plugin. Once you restart the uh, Jenkins service, then only this particular plugin will be installed. Okay. I'm selecting this install without restart. Like this one. Now, if, if you see here, it is going to download the particular plugin. Okay. Now, if you see here, the plugin is installed. Now, I'm going to set up this Maven plugin inside the global tool configuration. Go to the manage Jenkins. Okay, here we have a global tool configuration. Click this one. Inside this global tool configuration, come down a little bit. Here we have a Maven installation. Okay, add Maven. Here I'm giving the Maven name. This Maven name is visible in inside the Jenkins job. I'm giving like Maven iPhone. 3.8.6. I'm going to install 3.8.6. That is the reason I'm given the particular name. Okay. Now, if you see here, here we have two options. One is install automatically. It means specific version will be installed. When you run the job, it will be take this particular uh, name. We will be configured inside the Jenkins job. Then it will be installed the specific version. Second option is you can uncheck this one. In case if you already installed the Maven inside this particular Jenkins job, okay, you can define that particular part. For example, if you install Maven, we will be installed inside the OPT directory, right? We can declare like this in case if you install Maven inside the Jenkins server, but we haven't installed, right? That's why what I'm choosing here, I'm choosing install automatically. Okay, here I'm selecting the specific version. Latest version is 3.8.6. Okay, now we can apply, save it. Now what I'm doing here, I'm going to create the job and we can configure Git and also we can configure Maven related stuff. Okay, go to the dashboard. Here, new item, item or job, both are same. I'm giving here Maven project. Then you can select the freestyle project. Okay, you can also select the Maven project, but frequently will be used freestyle only. So that's why I'm selecting freestyle job. Then OK. Then you have to configure. First, you have to configure the source code management. You can select here, give. Okay, then you have to give that uh, repository URL. Take this one. We already having web application. This will be kept in public. You can also use this uh, repository, copy this one and come here. You can give the URL. Okay. Sometimes if you get any error related Git, you have to install the Git inside the particular Jenkins server. Okay. I already shown, right? When you see that Jenkins, uh, sorry, job level overview, I shown like we got uh, Git related error. We install the Git inside the Jenkins job and uh, then it, it, will, it should be cool. Okay. Then coming to the credentials. Currently, it is a public repository. We don't require to provide the credentials. But in case it is private, we have to provide the credentials. We already set up the credentials, right? Earlier class. Okay. I'm selecting the particular git. Remember, again, I'm telling here, here I give the my credentials. In real time, we won't give our credentials. We will be created a service account. Service account, nothing but we will be created a separate user and we will be configured that particular user inside the Jenkins job. The reason is, if I give the my credentials, in case if I let from that particular organization, what will happen? You, you will be lost that particular, uh, I mean, your mail ID will be blocked. It means it will break your Jenkins job, right? So that is the reason we'll be create this separate service account. We'll be configured the particular credentials, okay? Then coming to the branch name. What is the branch name? Our branch is master only, right? So I'm taking this particular branch name is master only, okay? Then come down, 
I'm adding this add timestamp to the console because I want to see the timing when it was run running. Okay, the particular console output. Now here we have a build steps right. Add build step. Here we have a invoke top level Maven target. Remember when you install the plugin, then you can able to view this invoke top level Maven plugin. Just click this one. Here Maven version is nothing but we have set up inside the global tool configuration the Maven version we have given right the name we have given right Maven fn 3.8.6 that name can be able to view here okay that particular name can be able to view here in, in this means when you select this particular global level name here it means in, internally it will be installed the particular 3.8.6 the reason is we have uh, installed automatically we have selected 3.8.6 version okay now goals goals are build life cycles both are same in linux command line we have given right uh, when you are build the code we have given uh, mvn clean clean means if you clean the project space i'm going to give the install install means it will be create a jar or file it will be copied to that particular dot m2 directory right why i'm not giving it here deploy it means if you give the deploy with the jenkins job will be failed the reason is we haven't configured uh, we haven't configured nexus or jfrog related configuration inside the form.xml okay now we can add in case your form.xml having different location. Currently, it is having main location, right? So that's why we don't require to provide anything. In case inside the particular repository, it is having different location that particular form.xml. If you want to call, you can give the full path here. Okay. If you want to define Java related JVM option, you can define here. Okay. Setting dot settings file and global level settings file. If you remember, we have a Maven setting.xml, right? If you if you require a global level or a user level. These things we can define here, okay. But currently we are not using any setting.xml file, so we can ignore this one, okay. Now you can apply, save it. Once we it does now the job is created, right? Now what what we will do? We will build this particular job. What will happen? Let's see. Build now. Now if you see here the job is running, okay. Come down. First it will be download. If you observe here, it is going to download the particular. It is going to download the particular. Maven. It is not already there at right? 3.8.6. It is going to download the particular Maven inside the Jenkins server. Now come down. Now if you see here, it is build is failing. Unknown lifecycle fail MVN. Okay. The reason is I can tell you. The reason is open the Jenkins job. Click that one. Configure. Come down here. If you see here, we have given MVN, right? Remember, MVN by default will be there in inside the Jenkins job. You don't want to mention. If you mention what will happen, it will be throw the error, it will be, the build will be failed. It means it is already there. Okay. So you can remove that one. Just you can give the commands clean, install. Might be you will get doubt. MVN is already inbuilt, is there. You don't want to provide it. Okay. Got it right? Now you can apply save. I have removed that MVN command. Okay. Build now. Now you can see. You can open uh, this log. Now if you see here, it is going to download uh, everything from the central repository. First, it will be clean the project, then it will be install the particular target. It means the particular dot into uh, war file, right? Our application war file will be generated and it will be stored in inside the dot into directory. But where exactly it will be done? Uh, copy the Jenkins default path is varlib Jenkins, right? Inside the varlib Jenkins dot into directory, it will be created. Inside the particular dot into direct directory, it will be stored the particular war file. Okay, what is it? Let's see. It may take a little bit time because we first we are going to download right everything it will download it from uh, central deposit right it may take a little bit time to complete this uh, build okay now if you see here installing we use mvn install right this particular war file inside the workspace we have a maven project inside the target directory we have a war file right that particular war file it will be stored in inside the dot m2 directory but the default jenkins uh, uh, path is varlib jenkins right that's why inside the varlib jenkins dot m2 directly repository com tech quarrel with only web application 1.0 that particular var file and also pem file will be copied to that particular location i'm going to see here as well go to, i have logged in this particular jenkins server okay currently i'm going to var lib jenkins sorry okay currently i mean varlib jenkins you can give the dot m2 directly Okay, here we have a repository. Okay, now here we have a com. What is the group name? Group ID is a com dot, uh, sorry, com dot tech world with Murli, right? Go to the com directory. Inside the com directory, we have a tech world with Murli. Insert what is the artifact name? 
web application, right? Then what is that uh, snapshot version? Snapshot version 0, right? 1.0. Go to here. If you observe here, here we have a var file. Where is available that one? When you use mvn install, it will be stored in inside the varlib Jenkins dot m2 directory. Okay. I hope you understand that how you can uh, configure that maven inside the Jenkins job. We have given mvn install only. I, I will show you later deploy also. Then it will be stored that particular var file in uh, Nexus or JFR. Then we will see how you can configure that Nexus artifact tool. Okay. I hope you understand. The main intention of this video is. How do we set up that particular Maven project inside Jenkins? Okay, instead of doing manually, like uh, we have created a project and we use Maven commands, uh, life cycles, and we have created a war file, right? Instead of doing manually, we have configured everything inside the Jenkins job, everything done automation. Okay, just we have installed the plugin and we have configured in global level, global tool configuration. Then we have configured in Jenkins job level. We have configured that particular Maven as well. Okay. I hope you understand. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video.